Wednesday. It's Wednesday, four o'clock in the morning, We're landing in three hours. To all my American patriot friends, I'd like to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe, enjoy family, enjoy your time. I'll be traveling from here, uh, hopping on an airplane from Miami back home. Take care, love you all guys. Thank you so much. Got it, got it. Oh. What am I gonna learn from this uh, oral change? Got all my, got all the bikes out. All the bikes, got the bikes out, got the cameras. All the gear. Uh, step one is to warm up the bike to running temperature. Warm, so we get all the fluids running and they drain easily and properly. Let's start her up. Let her run a little bit and then uh, we'll lift it. Let's get the, the lift ready. I'm gonna be using uh, Synthetic Syn3 by uh, Harley Davidson. Actually, I was gonna go with Mobile One 2050. They just didn't have any. They had only like four bottles, four quarts, and I needed a total of six. It looks, it looks like a commercial for uh, one of those infomercials, but no, no. Get everything ready. Enough noise. My oil pan that I picked up the other day at Harbor Freight. A little bit fiddling around with the uh, lift to find the best uh, position. So as I've just learned the hard way, I can't get access. I can't put this under because the hole that uh, the oil drains from is exactly under the jack and it's physically impossible to put that. I'll have to drain the, drain the oil with the jack moved aside. Yeah. In an ideal world, absolutely, I'd have a lift and uh, I'd have access to the, you know, to the bolts, the drain plugs that's put on the bottom. So right now what I'm doing is no lift, I don't know if you can see, let me try and show you. I have the bolt over here, right here. That's the uh, engine and that's the transmission. I'm gonna be uh, replacing both of them. I'm gonna be draining both of them from there. So I got the pan ready over here. I'm gonna uh, untighten them and then open up one at a time and move the pan to be right under them. Without spilling any oil on the on the driveway. Let's see if I can do it. Here's a dilemma that I have. You know, when you're doing these videos, you come across things that you see for the first time. Now, do you show the viewers the mistakes you make, uh, the problems, the trouble? Like when I lifted uh, the bike and I didn't realize, oh, I can't drain it because the lift is in the way. I come across pretty stupid. But, uh, but if I made that mistake, you probably make the same mistake if you just uh, you know have the same knowledge as i do so i just say just keep it real just i'll show you what i did wrong and how to try to figure it out and i'm sure there'll be uh you know haters down there in the comments that will, that will write oh this guy this dude knows nothing whatever yeah true i don't know anything about uh, a lot of things but i learn every day i learn something new so just going to show you what uh, i went through Again, searching for the proper tools. My other bikes up till now were not Harleys. They were all uh, Japanese and European. So all, like most of the wrenches and, and uh, uh, what do you call those fuckers? These guys were, or most of them are uh, metric and Harleys all uh, SAE. So I don't even have the proper tools, but we'll figure it out. See, I actually found one. I actually uh, found one that I had, and it's gonna fit right, right there.
Loosen it up till it can be removed by hand. And this one as well. Like I said before, I did, uh, did that already. And get the pan, the oil pan. Away. this one out kind of difficult from this angle to show right there I'll put this aside and we'll, we'll inspect it later to see if there's metal because there's a magnet over there now let's see if I can get a good angle we need to catch it before before it falls Got it. My hands are dirty, but I got it. I'll let it drain. I want to open the oil fill so you get a nice flow so all the oils, all the liquids drain properly. You can keep it out like that. My untightening and removing all covers, all openings oil fill openings so it drains properly and the filter okay while i'm waiting for it to drain let's talk about the proper tools i was all excited about after getting this uh, motorcycle lift uh, to use it for the oil change and obviously it's not the right uh, tool for the job. I think the best option would be either a lift which is expensive and I'm not sure I'm gonna get one and you need space for it or you need a front chalk that you can pick up in Harbor Freight I don't know for $70 that would be the great because that will keep the bike on the uh, on the ground and steady straight not leaned and then you get better access to the bottom of the bike, to the to the uh, drain plugs, to the drain uh, bolts, and it would be way easier. I think you can pick them up for like seventy dollars at Harbor Freight. So definitely, don't be too excited to use the new gear you got just because you got it. Make sure it's the right uh, thing for the job. And a thumbs down for me on not checking YouTube before. Uh, if I can use uh, the card, I mean the motorcycle jack, the motorcycle lift to do the oil change. I would have uh, probably figured that out. Inspect the the plugs, these little magnets. There is somewhat a few metal uh, shavings over there, not not really significant, very insignificant. And the O-ring itself, uh, I'm going to replace it anyway. It looks a little bit chewed up, but that's it. Inspect both. If you see uh, major shavings, then you definitely have some problem. Then inspect, of course, the other one. This one looks pretty clean. Okay, guys, like I said before, I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. I don't know what happened. This oil filter wrench that I used last time on my 1000 isn't working. It's slipping. Everything I tried to do, it's not working. I even tried to put some uh, tape around the filter so I get some more friction. It's not working. And now this part has been shredded. Garbage, probably made in China. I have to go to Harley and get the, the proper uh, filter wrench. So I'm gonna stop the video here and continue later on. Now that I'm looking at the bike, I'm realizing that there's probably a, a better jack that I can use to lift the bike and use it. Those small uh, scissor platform jacks that have that uh, spiral bolt that just raises it. I think that would be actually be a much, much easier, much better solution for uh, for an oil change. If they have one at Harley, I'll go look at it. I promise you next oil change is going to be done properly with the right tools. So on my way to Harley now, uh, we have this group chat between, uh, you know, the crew. 
Anyway, uh, so we have uh, this group chat that we, you know, talk to each other and uh, if anybody has, uh, no joke around or if uh, anybody needs help with something. Look at this guy's not, okay, okay, don't let me in, you little fucker. People are so uh, not nice today on the roads. Everybody's in a fucking rush. Anyway, so I write, uh, does anybody have... Does anybody have a solution? Because I was unable to work with my uh, with my uh, filter wrench, and they're like, "Oh yeah, you gotta get it from Harley." So now they tell me. Anyway, Glenn, Glenn, just ask Glenn. Knows everything, everything about Harley. And he says that uh, he actually never uses a lift or a jack at all. He has a front shock that he places his uh, Harley, his Road King on, puts it straight in and then crawls underneath it. I was trying to get it a little bit higher up with my back still slightly uh, hurting me. Hello. We're trying to figure out if uh, the balancing point where you put this underneath uh, the bike and exactly the balancing point, once you lift it up, if the uh, drain, uh, drain plug and the oil coming out draining out will be this will be in the uh in the way of the the oil if not then it's actually a good a good solution the right the proper tool the proper tool for the job i just got this like 12 dollars, whatever and it's got a cutout over here for the sensor i think it's for the o2 sensor so it doesn't uh anyway uh i looked at the the, the scissor the scissor uh, lifts and they're actually he checked the guy checked in the back and they actually use it to balance the bike and it's very good it would hold uh, it would hold the weight of the bike and it's made mainly to raise either the front or the back and then you get access full access to the bottom but the price is really really uh, steep let's say that I don't want to say the price check it out yourself but there are other solutions. I think a front chalk will be way, way, way better. You know, maybe Harley is also, like everybody says, oh, you're putting the Chinese stuff on your bike. Yeah, guys, check. Probably half of the uh, Harley products are also made in China. But they do have Harley Davidson and American Standard uh, quality control. So you pay a little bit more, but you get quality. This is definitely quality I can see the thickness of the material itself and let's see how it works. And it's not that much exp uh, more expensive. So let's go home and continue the job. They have that scissor jack that mainly is uh, designed to lift the front or the rear. That way you get access to the all the drain holes. Because if uh, you have a, a platform that is too wide, it's probably gonna be in the way. It's exactly on top. Uh, it's exactly underneath the center of gravity and where you want to lift both wheels up in the air. And it's going to be exactly in the way of the drain holes. So people either use uh, the bike standing on the ground with the front chalk in, or lift uh, with a narrow, a narrow uh, scissor jack, lift the front or the rear to drain, to get access to the drain holes, or have that uh, lift uh, table, you know, that, that huge, humongous lift table which is probably the best but I think it's uh pretty expensive and not fit no, nobody really needs it in their garage so hopefully this will do the trick now and fit over there let's, let's give it a try uh, it's moving guys there you go Ah, got it. Got it, got it. What a difference when you have the proper tool. What a difference. Unbelievable. Now let's put the, the new oil filter in. You got to fill it up about a quarter, a quarter way up with the uh, oil. So when you start the engine for the first time, it's not a dry start. It's, it's got oil, initial oil for the lubrication. So I'm using Synthetic 3. I'll fill this up and then you lube also the ring and then just tighten it, put it in and tighten it 
hand tighten. It doesn't need to be in uh, too tight. That's it. A little bit of oil inside. Take some oil here. Lubricate the ring. And place it right in there. There you go. And tighten it. And a small last touch. With your wrench. Really small touch. That's it. Tell you what guys, this absolutely worked for me. This is what got the filter, the oil filter out. Really, it was worth going to Harley. And Take the pan out and then I'll put a rag under. This rack right here. O-rings. See how this one is all chewed up? Now let's put them back in. That's it. Don't ask me what exactly the exact torque specs are. I didn't check. As well, uh, drain the primary. So I'm gonna uh, take the bolt out and use the oil pan to drain it. This was not easy getting under the bike. The, ha the bike has to be, has to be straight up, not on the kickstand. It's like very, very difficult. I do not suggest doing it on the kickstand. Obviously inspect this plug, the primary plug. And as you can see, I don't know, can you see? There are a lot of a lot, but there are uh, metal shavings on the magnet. Well, that's expected. Clean it up and replace the O-ring. I want to show you close up how this, the O-ring is chewed up from all the vibrations. Notice? I'm untightening the primary cover so I get some air coming in so the oil drains better I'm not going to move it all the way T27 now there's better drainage from here well, here's the thing I just realized, and I haven't seen many uh, people talking about it. 
about these uh, drain plugs. Everybody's talking about sockets that you can use. Each one of these actually has an Allen uh, opening so you can actually use, this one is a quarter, quarter uh, Allen wrench. You can use that instead. I'm gonna use that now. Okay, there's an all new O-ring over here. And uh, let's put it back in place. Like I said, I'm going to be using the Allen wrench. Much easier access. Way, way easier access this way. That's it. It's done. Okay, I'm going to be filling up oil now. Engine oil over here. The quantity that I'm using is posted right here. Uh, check, uh, check the manual. Check the owner's manual. What they actually say the official numbers. I might got it right. I got it from my buddies in the group, uh, the chat room. That's what they use, so I'm trusting them. They say it's always better to be a little bit below what you need than having an overfill. He's saying it splashes all over and the pressure. There's less s. Uh, there's less air in the tank area so this is uh gonna fill up over here then in transmission and then in the primary on the other side but i'm using the one that i opened already because it's gonna be part of the total might want to use a bigger funnel this is too slow now that i'm done now that i'm done with all the draining uh i'm using the lift just as a leveling, uh, just as a leveling uh, tool, so the bike is nice and level while I'm filling up. Funnel, faster funnel. Twenty-eight is everything up to here, because this one has thirty-two. So the whole bottle, and I'm supposed to be left with four right here. There you go. We'll keep this one bolted all the way, be the last one. Oh, it came up pretty clean. And I'll inspect the gasket. It actually looks pretty good. Although I have one over here. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Just clean it up and you reuse it. From what I'm seeing, the primary takes 34 ounces, so I'm gonna fill that up. I have this special funnel that I got at, uh, from Harley last time. Let me show you. And, uh, it just makes things less messy. Yeah, pretty much something like that. So when you put the oil in, it goes directly in and doesn't spill all over the place. Pretty much the oil level is supposed to be right below the lip over here that's where 32 so i use a whole one and another two ounces that i have from the previous uh bottle pretty easy with this little funnel Yes, as you can see now, see the level right here? It's just, just below. 
maybe just a little one ounce more and we're good Let's start closing it up As I said, the gasket is nice and tight and and clear and intact. So just make sure that it's seated properly. Start with the top, top bolt, top screw right here, and then the rest. Got them all, all liquids and all fluids are in. All we have to do is now start it up, let it warm up, and then check the engine oil level when the bike is uh, warm. So, now let it warm up and then uh, clean up first and then check uh, liquid oil levels. I'm gonna check uh, check the oil level using the Jiffy Jiffy stand, also known as the kickstand. As you might have known already, there are two different markings on the dipstick. So as you can see over here, let me try and read. Fill hot oil Jiffy Jiffy stand. Okay, this one right here on the top. This one right here on the top is the Jiffy stand, which is the kickstand of where we're at right now. That's what we're gonna check. And the bottom one, it's for upright, vehicle upright position. So let's do that. Screw it in all the way. Now the drip stick is getting oil. Now let's see how much oil we have. Okay, and we see we have just on the bottom, right here on the bottom of the Jiffy stand, which means we need, it's right here on the bottom, do you see? Right here. We need just a little bit more, I say one or two ounces more. That's what I'm gonna do, fill it up one or two ounces more. And that's it. Next ride I do, a long ride, after the oil has gone all over the place. Uh, I'll check it again because a lot of times the oil is all over you know the engine itself and it takes time for it to settle down back into the to the oil tank so so that's it guys Whew. this took way longer than it was supposed to what am i going to learn from this uh oil change first thing always have the right tools although i ha i thought i had the right tools uh, they failed on me, so definitely use, first of all, the Harley, uh, Harley uh, oil filter wrench. Second, the lift jack that you just saw that I use, not good for the job. I either use a front chalk for the front wheel to hold uh, the bike upright, or use a center, a center stand, narrow stand, scissor jack, just to lift up the front uh, or the rear so you get access to the drain holes most important most important uh it, this job should be very easy once you master it first time i did it went so fast this time for whatever reason didn't go as expected make sure you have enough time before you start this job anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and you got some uh some insight or you didn't learn something from this video i'm sandy watching holy shift till the next video peace out